What is going on, everybody? It is me again. It is Horror Fan Thirty Four, and welcome to another video, and welcome to another weekly watch challenge video. Now, like I said before, these are the weekly watch challenges that my me and my good buddy Rob over at Movie Review Time, because he came up with the idea of doing this per week, and uh, we, we we do like different themes per week, and this is the one that I came up with yet again. And want to give a good shout out to my buddy Rob. I wanted to thank him once again for having me participate in this. This has been a lot of fun. And also too, um, I I really can't wait to see like whatever ideas that he'll do in the future. Well, he actually does have an idea coming up, but I'm gonna save that because I think I think he'll probably announce it next week because he has an idea that we're gonna he came up with as well. But I'll let him uh, keep that for a secret for now, and he'll tell you next week. Um, but going on to this week, uh, I decided to do, we decided to do it that I came up with the idea of doing sports week since, you know, football is just, you know, kicking off and things like that. And baseball is winding down to the playoffs. I figured, you know, why not do some sports movies? And like I said, this could be any kind of like, you know, sports movie. It could be anything, baseball, golf, and soccer and football and basketball. Like it could be hockey could be anything that you like for sports. And I figured I picked um, Monday through Friday here, one movie each. Like, this is what we do for the weekly watch. We try to do at least one movie a day for each day of the week, Monday through Friday. And uh, these are the ones that I picked for sports week. So without further ado, let's get on to my movies that I watched this week for sports week. So on Monday, I had to, I had to kick it off with this one. Major League, easily my favorite baseball movie. Uh, very entertaining movie, very funny movie, great cast. You have Charlie Sheen, Tom Berenger, Corbin Burnson, yes, the dentist himself, Corbin Burnson. You also have, you know, James Gammon, Rene Russo, directed by uh, David S. Ward. Uh, just a really fun highly entertaining movie of course Wesley Snipes is one of the other baseball players as Willie Mays Hayes who always steals the bases and he collects all the bases that he steals and things like that it's a very highly entertaining movie definitely one of the best comedies out there in my opinion period not just sports movies but best comedies out there and definitely one of the best like baseball movies and definitely one of the best sports films in general Major League is just highly entertaining. Don't care for the sequels too much, but the first one is definitely the best, and it's the best one because it's R-rated. But the cast and all that stuff is excellent in Major League. So that was Monday. Now getting on to Tuesday, I decided to watch my favorite sports film on Tuesday, and that is Any Given Sunday. Yes, this is my favorite sports film of all time. Uh, as much as I love baseball and everything, this has always been my favorite sports film, mainly because of this cast. And it's an excellent football movie where you have just a great cast. Al Pacino, Dennis Quaid, Jamie Foxx, Cameron Diaz, James Woods, L.O. Cool J, uh, Matthew Modine, Charlton Heston, Anne Margaret, Aaron Eckhart, John C. McGinley, Lauren Holly. Uh, you also... You also have, uh, and a little role, James Karen from Return of the Living Dead has a small role in this. A lot of great people in this cast. And you know, Al Pacino is a football coach for the Miami Sharks, Tony D'Amato. And, he, his, and his team's been losing for a while. He has his old quarterback, who been, he's been very loyal to, played by Dennis Quaid, and Jamie Foxx comes in as the new quarterback and he's like getting cocky and getting with the, you know, getting the fames get into his head and, and you know, it's just a lot of really great ca cast of characters. James Woods plays the team doctor who is just the slimy character. Cameron Diaz is the owner of the team. Uh, you have like L.O. Cool J who's one of the players. Matthew Modine, you have Charlton Heston, Anne Margaret, Aaron Eckhart, who's one of the coaches. You know, just an excellent, excellent film, and definitely one of the best when it comes to sports films. And I, I'd probably say it's my favorite Oliver Stone film. 
the football sequences in this are so well done. And, you know, uh, Al Pacino gives a great speech, and it, as Al Pacino always does when it comes to, like, Al Pacino movies. So that's my Tuesday watch. And then on Wednesday, I decided to watch a pretty underrated one that no one ever speaks of, The Scale. Definitely one of my favorite Brendan Fraser flicks. I think he does a great job in this, both dramatic-wise and comedic-wise. It has a nice heart to it as well, where Albert Brooks is a scout for the New York Yankees, and he ends up finding Brendan Fraser, who's out in Mexico, and he's a great hitter and a great pitcher, but the the but Brendan Fraser's character comes with a lot of baggage, emotional problems, and anger issues, and things like that. So it's and it's got some sad moments. It's got some funny moments. It's got a good heart to it. I think the scout is worthwhile for a baseball flick, and especially if you like Brendan Fraser and you like Albert Brooks. You also have Diane Weist. The music is done by Bill Conti. Yes, the guy that did like Lock Up and a lot of the Stallone films he used to, he worked on, and also directed by Michael Ritchie, same guy that directed I think The Golden Child with Eddie Murphy. But that's a good that's a good flick, the scout. Then going on to Thursday, had to watch this one next. Kingpin. Easily one of my favorite comedies of all time. This movie is hilarious as hell from beginning to end. And the chemistry between Woody Harrelson and Randy Quaid is just so funny. You also have Vanessa Angel, Bill Murray as the villain. Uh, this is actually when the Fairley Brothers knew how to direct comedies when they, when they did like Dumb and Dumber and things like this me, myself, and Irene. Uh, but this is just, like, a highly entertaining movie. Like, Bill Bill Murray's character as the villain, Ernie McCracken, is so, so fun to watch. And Rainy Quaid as Ishmael, the Amish guy, a lot of fun when he's taking a shit in the, in, the, in, the, uh, in the urinal, and he's trying to teach Woody Harrelson about living life on the Amish farm, and how to milk a goat and it's it's so funny a lot of really fun sequences in this lot, lots of fun and he also and I, I love the you have Disco Inferno in there from you know the Tramps the, the disco song but uh excellent excellent uh comedy and then the last one I watched for Friday because you figure that's all of them, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Now getting on to Friday, I had to finish off Friday with an underrated thriller that does not get spoken of at all. The Fan. Easily one of the most underrated, criminally underrated thrillers that is out there. Uh, Wesley Snipes is a baseball player for the San Francisco Giants, and Robert De Niro is, in the, is an obsessed baseball fan. And all the crazy stuff that happens, like... Robert De Niro becomes, like, obsessed with Wesley Snipes, and there's even a point where he kidnaps Wesley Snipes' son, and Wesley Snipes has to go save his kid, and music by Hans Zimmer. You also have people like uh, John Leguizamo, Benicio Del Toro, Ellen Barkin. You also have, uh, in, a, in a small role, Jack Black has a tiny quick appearance as a radio technician. And some pretty cool appearances by a couple baseball players. John Cruck, who played for the Phillies in the 90s, he's in here as one of the... He actually gets killed at the very end by Robert De Niro's character. Really great final showdown, too, between De Niro and Snipes in the rain on, on the baseball field. Oh, and the disc actually fell out. There we go. Did not expect that to happen. Let me just make sure it's in there safely. But... Easily, like, I say one of De Niro's most underrated performances and definitely one of Wesley's most underrated f roles as well. If you like thrillers and all that stuff, I, you you got, you got to check out The Fan, directed by Tony Scott. And so that is pretty much it. That's all, that's the films that I watched this week. So on Monday, Major League. Tuesday, Any Given Sunday. Wednesday, The Scout. Thursday, Kingpin. And Friday, The Fan. So that's pretty much it. And I just want to let you guys know, next week, me and Rob will be doing 80s Action Week, which is an, another thing that I came up with. So basically for that week, we're, we'll, be, we'll be talking about 80s action films. So uh, definitely stay tuned for that next week. 
So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.